Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own pinwheel and the pinwheel actually blows in the wind. What you need for this project is a piece of computer paper, a ruler, pencil for drawing, a scissors for cutting, crayons for coloring or markers, a pencil with an eraser, and a push pen or a straight pen. How we're going to do this is first of all we need a square piece of paper. So everybody knows that computer paper is eight and a half by eleven. So in order to make it a square we have to measure on the long side eight and a half inches. And once we do that and draw a straight line we can cut out our square just like this. Then once we have our square cut out, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the corners with, with our ruler. So I'm going to quick draw those two lines, one connecting this corner to that corner, and then one connecting this corner and to that corner. So you end up with um, your pencil lines looking like this. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to measure two and a half inches from the middle connection. So I'm going to go two and a half inches and you see that? Actually, two and a half inches, two and a half inches, and two and a half inches like this. All right, so once you have that, it's time to color. And I know a lot of you like to do the tie-dye coloring, and that's what I did on the back of my pinwheel. So I'm going to start with my tie-dye coloring. You can use any color you want, and I'm just starting in the middle. Now this is when, this is when you want to blend your crayon color. And I'm starting off with the green. And I'm going into blue. And how about a lime green? And when you blend your colors, you want the crayon to overlap the color before. Just like this. And here's a purple. I'm going to bring in some purple around in here, like this, and maybe go into some pink, just like this, and it's nice to turn your paper while you're blending the colors because then you can get an even coloring, like this. over in here and just keep coloring and keep coloring until the whole square is filled up then on the other side you can start drawing pictures and it might be pictures of a peaceful scene like a rainbow or it could be um, flowers it could be your own pet walking your pet things that you're doing to keep yourself busy you could draw pictures of that so 